Mark glanced about. He hoped to find something he could use to fight back. A loose nail, a bottle, a piece of wood. But the only thing in reach was the mound of grotty prisoner jackets, and these sparked another thought. It was dark out, and the main gate was only a few metres from the door of the hut. The gate might be locked. There might be a guard right outside. But if Fisher didn't beat him to death, working for Gang 62 promised a nastier death from chemicals and disease. And when you're already as good as dead, what have you got to lose? The Prisoner by Robert Muchamore. Now, as you're all good viewers and have watched all my previous videos, you'll know I'm quite a Robert Muchamore fan. In fact, if you watched this particular video, you will see that Grey Wolves, the predecessor to this book, was actually one of my books of the year. So how does its sequel measure up? For those of you who've never encountered the series before, Henderson's Boys is a series of what will be seven books that focus on Charles Henderson, a British spy fighting against the Nazis. He is particularly interesting because as he goes along, he ends up more and more using young boys and girls for his purposes. Because who expects young children to be spying on them? It's the 1940s origins of what will eventually become his governmental organisation Cherub, which is the focus of his main series of books, the Cherub books. The Prisoner follows the story of Mark, who at the end of Grey Wolves is arrested by the Nazis and taken to Germany. As the story opens, he's spent months captive in a converted old steamer in Frankfurt. He's packed in shoulder to shoulder with as many other men as they can fit. They're fed the barest of slop and forced to work in the toughest of conditions, given the jobs that no one else wants. Mark knows he has to get away. If he doesn't, he'll end up worked to death or maybe even killed by one of his fellow prisoners. Yet, this time, there's no Henderson to help him. There's no British spy network to back him up. And the awful conditions make it impossible to even think straight, let alone plot a complicated escape. This time, there's no plan, no help. But Mark's going to try anyway. It's Escape or Die. I absolutely loved this book. It is definitely the kind of book you read for a thrill. With books like this, you can basically measure how good they are in how fast you read them. It has that page-turning quality. You can't put it down, you can't take a break, you just need to find out what happens next. In this story especially, Mark is constantly balancing on the edge of danger. One wrong move will see him shot in the head. You just can't help reading with your heart in your throat. It's also got some absolutely fantastic scenes that really do affect you. My ears were pricked in the impenetrable darkness of the rattling metro, and my skin crawled in the filthy, overcrowded prison cells. There are also some brilliant throwbacks in this book, references that go all the way back to the escape. At the same time, overall, this book doesn't really feel like the next book in the series. It feels like a companion novel. It is simply about Mark. All the other characters, Rosie, P.T., Paul, I miss them, I will look forward to the next book and hopefully when we can see them again. Saying that though, this was a welcome change of pace, it was very different, and the fact that it is Mark on his own, the fact that we're suddenly behind enemy lines, makes it a hell of a lot more scary. Anything could happen in this book. Finally, with many many thanks to Rob and to Hodder, I have some amazing cheruby Henderson Boise goodies to give away to all you guys. A metal cherub bookmark, cherub playing cards, cherub badges, a cherub pass holder, or if you're a Londoner, a cherub oyster card holder, a cherub pin, and a cherub hat. All of these will come in an envelope signed by Robert Muchamore and bedecked with Cherub and Henderson Boys stickers. My competitions are the easiest competitions to enter in the world. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel up here and then post a comment down below. Maybe saying that you want to win, maybe just saying that you like my face. Anyway, are you a Robert Muchamore fan? Henderson Boys or Cherub? What's your favourite? That I'd like to know. Anyway, happy reading. Hope to hear from you in the comments down below. Bye. The handle one. <laughs> 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 that goes on YouTube, I'll kill you. <laughs>